Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll show you this type of social media post design in Photoshop. So let's start the tutorial. If you are new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. At first going to the file and taking new options from here and taking an artboard which is like a square shape you can take 2000 pixel and 2000 pixel from here and giving the name social and you can take the RGB color and hit the create button okay now at first taking a solid color which is little bit of this type the color code d3 d3 and d3 and hit the okay button and after that i'll draw shape so going to the rectangle tool from here and drawing the shape like that okay this shape i'll turn off the fill color only the stroke color and then i'll make the stroke thickness like 30 pixels from here you can write down 30 from your keyboard and after that that means the top right and top left i'll make that's good if you want you can just increase or decrease like this so 150 if i take 150 that's good and 150 that's good and then i'll make this one restylize the layer and after that i'll go to the blending options from here i'll use the gradient overlay so i took the gradient overlay from here here is the pink palette by default you can try other colors if you want so after that here white color and then this selection this one should be restylize the layer that is another shape and press ctrl or command j actually i just cut it off this one cut this one and now i'll make this one into convert to smart object and double press this one and now I'll go to the file and place emitter options you can use any sort of photos over there so this type of photos or if you have any kind of portrait or other stuffs so I'm using this portrait and making this one fit with the shape and then right press and create clipping mask and save it out when you are saving this one it will save in this window so press ctrl or command T making this one a little bit of bigger and this shape should be upper side of the shape okay our shape is done now making this one in a group and giving the name shape that's good and now i'll draw another one so another shape like this so this shape same process i'll make the or you can make this one turn off the stroke color and giving the fill color only and in this portion i'll make the zero corner zero and this corner will be zero and i'll make this one 50 and this one 50 that's good okay our shape is ready over there and press ctrl or command d i'll make this one flip horizontal actually i want to make like this and i'll write down the name like the same like this so here the cursive letter combination of the cursive and normal letter and then t from the text tool write down the and making this one white and making this one smaller over there and here taking another text like uh, lily or lena that's good i'll make this one cursive from this portion i'll provide the font in my video description making the font size a little bit smaller press ctrl or command t you can make this one smaller and place over there and now we'll work with that properly yeah press ctrl or command t making this one a little bit of bigger that will be fine that's nice now we'll write down something like digital profile so writing something digital and making this one this color so this type of color and making this the font is poppins so write down poppins over here okay already in a poppins font okay that's good and digital should be like that and 
just making another copy by pressing alter option button into 1.6 that means bigger than the previous one and i'll make the color or shape like that actually uh, in this shape i should make the black and white so here going to the black and white options and making this one clipping mask that's good and now pick the color of these letter from here yeah that's good yeah that's fine and now digital profile and fit with that that's good or you can make this one all caps i'll make from here digital profile that's good and now write down the logo over here and the lorem ipsum text going to the text tool making the lorem ipsum text like that but uh, one thing is that i'll make the text size only eight or nine and making this one into extra bold to regular okay that's good and turn off the all caps options so making this one a little bit of bigger like this and the digital should be bigger like this so you can maintain the gold golden ratio so this one is 41 and the upper side of this should be 41 divided by 1.6 yeah that's the nice okay now i can make more uh, copies of this text uh, suppose this one i'm just copying this one and just paste over there that's good and here what we do or what my profile that's good and making this one into the bold font and the font size will be uh, 8 into 1.6 that's good and i'll make this one a little bit of uh, like bold italic and hit the tick mark and just placing over there now we'll go to the illustrator and uh, lots of icons and everything so i got this icon from free pick and i'll provide you the download link in my video description from this icon pack i just make this one uh, like uh, the separate from all icons and selecting all the stuffs and making this one into the proper alignment into the middle that's good and adding some stroke thickness it will help out to recognize properly and stroke should be like this and like this and after that going to the object and expand this one and hit ok so and merge this one okay now these icons are like little bit of bold copying this one and going to the photoshop control or command v paste this one and making them smaller over there yeah that's good and now going to the blending options from here gradient overlay and then hit okay and now we'll write down something over there i'll make this one a little bit of smaller like this okay now text from here lorem ipsum text actually we should take this one smaller text so selecting this and now press ctrl or command t and this type of lorem ipsum text press ctrl or command j or press the alter option button and make copy you can write down your own write up over there and now again going to the icon pack i downloaded this icon pack and separate them from all copying this one here is facebook instagram twitter youtube and discord and going back to the photoshop and paste over there making this one a little bit smaller over there that's good yeah that's fine and this color should be going to the blending options color overlay uh, i'll find the color from here and hit ok and hit ok that's good now this one and this one this one this one actually i want to make this one into one alignment and everything so this alignment should be proper and this one as well and this one like this okay and this one should be all caps that's good and i should make this thing in a group yeah that's fine here we'll make a shape and which is the separate uh, things and i'll take shape press ctrl command t and making this one 
smaller like this yeah and a little bit of a smaller like this from the settings i'll make this one like 2010 actually here should be 10 yeah that's fine our work is ready before ending the things i'll add some photo this photo actually i'll use this one into the downside of all layers yeah that's fine and i'll make this one black and white as well black and white and after that making this one create clipping mask and now fill color actually this fill color should be like this subtle like uh, eight or ten percent is good that's good and this one is the bg actually bg and this one is the shape our shape now i'll save this one into the jpeg version and saving this out and hit ok and you can post it in your social media which is really nice before using all the stuffs you should make the alignment properly so this one was our tutorial if you will be the benefited from this tutorial don't forget to subscribe and share with your friend and, and, and until the next video is signing out today stay safe stay healthy keep me in your prayers bye bye